Royals hosting the Indians, a July 4th matinee. Plenty of patriotism on display at Kauffman Stadium. Top two, Indians out to a one nothing lead. Drew Stubbs up, facing James Shields, and he makes Shields pay. Wraps one around the foul pole, a two-run shot. 3-0 Cleveland, his seventh of the year. Shields would allow two more in the game and only last five in the third. Sixth inning, it's 5-0 Cleveland. Ubaldo Jimenez with two men on facing Mike Moustakis. He bounces one to the right side. Jimenez going to cover first, but he can't hang on to the ball. He's charged with a fielding error, and that would load the base for the next batter, Lorenzo Kane. He hits it well. Left center field. That's a way back, and how about this, fans? We've got our fourth Grand Slam of the year, and Kansas City right back in it. His first career Grand Slam with one swing of the bat, it's a one-run game. Cody Allen on relief, and the next batter's George Kataris. And he gets in on the act. A solo homer to right to tie the game. His third of the year, all square at five. But the lead would be short-lived. Two men on, top seven, Aaron Crow pitching to Carlos Santana. He doubles it to right field. Jason Kipnis, Michael Brantley score. Indians back in front. It's 7 5. But bottom of the inning, Royals trying to answer right back. Eric Hosmer up with a man on, and he takes Joe Smith out of the yard. Two run blast to tie the game at 7, his ninth of the year. Royals refusing to go away. Bottom eight, bases loaded. Game still tied. Salvador Perez pinch hitting, facing Matt Albers. Down the line. That's a fair ball. Johnson to score. Giovatella to score. Send Dyson in. It's a bases clearing double by Salvador Perez. Perez gets it done and the Royals go on to win 10-7. The Royals take two of three from the Indians. They scored at least 10 runs for only the fourth time this year despite only having six hits. They use the long ball to do it.